Greetings and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. My name is Darina Shine. I'm your hostess. So grateful you're here. So what I do on this channel is provide informational content on life development as well as business entrepreneurship. You know, everyone goes into the business techniques of of their own processing based on their experience. So what I try to do is bring it to the most understanding terminologies that I can use in order to get one to empower themselves to be more, do more, and have more with the skills they already possess. So grateful that you're here. Today is July 4th. And um, happy 4th of July for those who celebrate the Independence Day of America. Um, So I want to talk today about an experience that I had over the week. Um, And it's amazing how life can test you at the most inopportune time. But you learn so much in those bottom moments, those rock bottom moments. And uh, so I ordered a phone, um, an iPhone 12. And it was under a circumstance that I thought it was promotional. I thought it was going to be less headache than it was. But it became so extreme until it literally made no sense to me. Um, I was under the assumption that if I bundled it, a lot of promotion would come with it. Um, You know, those organizations sometimes sell those items for pennies on the dollar, but multiply it by triple the amount um, or quadruple the amount. So that's what happened to me. And I decided that, no, I was not going to buy into that. What I was going to do was focus on um, the situation at hand, you know, and the iPhone 12, I guess, is this popular um, phone. And so they made it very difficult for me uh, to return the phone. Um, At first, I wanted to take it to Spectrum here in my location and I wanted them to see the phone and make sure the phone was turned on, maybe reset the settings and we were going to take pictures. They were going to put it in the box and they were going to ship it. They told me Spectrum Online told me that I could take it to the local branch. Well, when I got to the local branch, they stated that they were unable to take it. Another waste of my time. So I had to take it all the way out to FedEx and um, it was over maybe seven, 10 miles. So that was time consumed as well. And when I did that, it was amazing because um, I took pictures, barcodes, IEM numbers. I took uh, side shots. I took turn on phone shots. I took phone off shots. And I don't know why I was doing this. It was just something. The law of attraction and the law of motivation will make you do things and you don't even know why you're doing them, but you're doing them for a specific reason. So when I dropped it off at FedEx, I took pictures of the girl putting the phone in the box, totally great, and covering the box, closing the box, and putting the box into the return uh, box that came with it and then putting the labels on and sh- and then I said goodbye. Well, at that point, from that point on, I had no, you know, um, connection to the phone at all. So they told me that I did. Well, in the midst of transportation, I guess the cell phone or maybe it didn't. But to me, I don't see how a perfectly fine cell phone would come up with a humongous scratch at the bottom to the point where you can't use the phone. So that was a big problem for me. So now this free phone or this phone that was supposed to be under promotional status has now cost me $400. But here's the catch. I don't have the phone. The phone was perfectly fine and I have 
proof and evidence to show that. And then when it gets there, all of a sudden we have these issues and money is debited out of my account, unauthorized. So contact management. And I didn't know that supervisors of manager, managers and supervisors also have a, um, a leadership team that is over them. I didn't even know that, but I found it out. So, I mean, it was just a horrible experience, Spectrum Mobile. And I want to say that when we are dealing with entrepreneurship and business development, one thing that we need to do is have something to promote the customer, to help the customer. For example, having insurance. Paying $3 more or $4 more to make sure that the phone gets to where it needs to be should be a part of that type of um, transference because I'm not responsible for what the warehouse does to that phone when I um, return it to the third-party transportation personnel that gets the phone to where it needs to be. So... It's a time-consuming situation to fight and argue over something that you know you're in the right in, but you have to sometimes, you know, and it was just that law of motivation that created how I was going to take care of that situation, how that situation was going to come to fruition for me. And I say to you that if ever you're in that position, now this is for both client base, this is for entrepreneurs this is for business individuals and personal life perspectives you know if you are in the situation such as that don't just give up and assume that oh there's nothing that can be done or if the manager says it can't be done then there's nothing that can be done this manager literally told me well I'm sorry but our team rated this phone as a, I said, well, how do you know that the phone, you know, there's a lot of white collar crime going on. There's new ideas when it comes down to dealing with people either online or, or virtual versus in person. It's a different experience. So people can try to manipulate, maneuver and do things underhandedly in order to keep their positions, in order to keep their jobs. So if Spectrum Mobile is a new service, how do we know the warehouse didn't swap that iPhone for another iPhone? There's always ways of doing things corrupt. And we as customers must realize this when we're doing our due diligence in returning items because that's the only way you can get them back to the um to the to the to the company that's the only way you can get it back is ship it so you have to trust that the information and that the item will get from a to b successfully well now <laughs> there's a lot of hands that this box is touching before it gets to the original warehouse and then you have someone who's grading the item and that's that may not be as legitimate as it should be because you can pick up the wrong phone, put it in a different box or whatever. So that IEM number needs to be tracked and followed. You need to show me, and this is what I shared. You need to show me that the telephone the, or the, the cell phone that was submitted to me was the one that you graded. Because people can talk, go to the bathroom, come back. Somebody can pick up a phone and switch it. It could be anything. I don't know how the warehouse works. But, I mean, I just wanted to share this with you because it's a dynamic new day. And we can take this new day and we can empower ourselves with it by constantly reminding ourselves, not in paranoia, but in just consequence, in just mere what if. Or, you know, ex expectation that this should be the way that it should be from the front door, not that it gets to be something along the way. So I just wanted to share this with you today. This is a great day, you know, a day that is balanced upon, you know, what we 
few about our lives and ourselves. And I just want you to really stay focused on that. Because whether it's life issues, whether it's someone telling you something about your life that you know differently, judgment, you know, um, <clears throat> controlling, you know, your life, you have to stand up and you have to say, no, this is not how it should be because I am in control. The law of any definition will state that it is the blueprint, the connection to why the blueprint was put into perspective in the first place. There should be laws, rules, policies, and procedures, not just for companies, but for those in return policies. So I thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It may be, have been a rant. However, it's something I want to put into my channel that will go down in history because I want to listen back at this four years from now and see if things have changed during this time, you know, and this is very significant. This is very powerful. Also, Facebook is doing a new thing where um, I suppose YouTube channel, YouTube videos can be stored on stories anymore. So I'm getting less views on Facebook and that used to be my portal and my platform that I would assume many of my organic uh, views. However, it doesn't matter. Even if one person sees this video, it's just as great as 100,000 seeing this video because... I listen to it myself and I go back and I better my situation and I continue to figure out ways of how to, you know, engage my listeners and my viewers. So um, I thank you for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. And if this video has helped in any way, shape or form, please comment on it and uh, let me know what you feel. Let me know what you think about it. I will be putting it on a promotional platform now. Um to try to push it out there to more individuals, but I tried to stay local, but everything is changing. So I'm going to change with the times. Thank you so much for um, listening and universal up to your success. And we'll see you next time.